Legoland Windsor are building two brand new roller coasters that will race down the hillside right opposite the best coaster in the world. It's going to be called Mini Figure Speedway and we already know its layout, the sort of turns and elements it will have. We also know the fact it's going to have a massive Lego not so mini figure on it. And we didn't really know much more than that until today. In this video you are going to get a brand new behind the scenes look at the station building and some of the views you will get from there, how the queue line is coming along and of course the main thing, those trains that you're going to sit in whilst you go around the ride. Oh and also there's a brand new theming piece next to Roxy as well. These coasters look extremely exciting and guess what? I'm extremely excited to get on it. But all that and more is to come in this video. So if you do enjoy this update and you want to see more, then please be sure to subscribe to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. So then, minifigure speedway coming to Legoland Windsor. What do we already know? Well, of course, we know the name. Obviously, we know the colours of the tracks and the different teams as well, the layout of the rides we know, the manufacturer, and of course, the 30 foot tall, big Roxamillion Verstappen. But other than that, we don't know much more other than what we've seen in the park and sort of in the surrounding area. Oh, I'm going to say it again until today. There is about to be some world exclusive information and video footage in this video because Legoland Windsor have kindly invited me down which thank you so much for doing by the way to check out the ride in its current form which includes some brand new things they've done since we last went in the site so with that being said let's go and see this brand new area and th the brand new coasters although I didn't actually vlog because I thought it'd be more informative if I did a voiceover. Sorry for the misleading walk off to vlog. Pretty much while we were there, we were given a small little tour of the coasters from three main locations. And we're going to start with the one that's the furthest away because that just makes the most sense. But we have been here before and that is of course the Duplo Valley area where you can get a really nice view of the coasters and Roxy and everything else there on the top of the hill. And this is some old footage here. You can see the coaster looks insanely tall, but the station still had some work to do. And now, here's the new footage. Oh my god, it's a billboard. A little thing is the station colours up top have been changed slightly to suit the racing colours of the orange and the blue. And I guess other than that, there's literally just that billboard. That's the biggest thing there, I guess. Which is where the second location we went to comes in very handy. Because we then walked on the brand new footpath down by Roxy and that sort of area of the ride. And this footpath really gives a good view of that turn on the blue side or the Legends team as they're called. And you can also turn around to see that huge billboard that has a lot of decals on it. There's the text above saying the race is on at the minifigure speedway and that of course has the logo there as well. The ride smashes through that sort of side of the billboard as well which I think is a great effect and the left side has a lot of different minifigures just sort of stacked up in one which uh, a lot of them we were told have some very specific names but I'll probably just call them by whatever. You've got dragon woman, popcorn bloke, hot dog guy and more. Who is your favourite? because I know mine is Shark Donny. But yeah, that billboard does look really good. When I first saw it on their social media pages and sort of saw it online, I was a bit like, mm, would it look that great next to Roxy? I don't know. But seeing it in person, it does work really well. It'll be quite cool on the backwards section of the red coaster because obviously you're actually coming round through the billboard that way, so you're going to see it. What a good interpretation. And with that being said, we now have two billboard head choppers on roller coasters in the UK, except this one doesn't say flight into hell but that pathway we were on will be public access so you'll be able to walk all the way down there see roxy and that billboard from really close up right here and then following that up that then leads us to the queue line and station area the queue line as you can see here is still heavily under construction as of course it's the whole ride but eventually in that queue line you will reach a place under the lift hill you will go under the lift hills and between the separate ones to get into the station. How cool is that? Although they are sort of very encaged. You know, safe and healthy. Maybe we'll see a few posters in that queue line and stuff just to sort of make it a bit more interesting than just cage wall, I guess. But even so, the views out those windows and little bits are actually pretty cool. And from there, you then enter the station building, which is very bright and very open. It is open plan like a living room. There's no joke there. It's quite a bright station. They've got some lights in the top in case, obviously, it's dark. The op cabin is right above the sort of exit of the station when you're on the ride that goes forwards. And that window looks bloody huge. And like I said with the queue line, the views inside the station 
are so cool. If you look straight on, it genuinely looks so high up. I mean, if I was six years old going on this, I think I'd be terrified. Well, that's because I didn't like heights that much, okay? Behind the lift hills as well, which the lift hills themselves look really good. The mansion that sits behind has actually had a really nice lick of white paint, so that looks fresh and up to standard. And in the station, there was a very prominent thing in there just sort of sat on the track. And that was the trains for each side. I believe when we went, they were supposed to be testing it and doing a couple checks on it or something, but that never ended up happening. But we still got to see the trains and genuinely look how insane these things look they're literally lego race cars as a roller coaster train i just wanted to sit on it and go they've got these little lego pieces along the side and sort of you can see the studs as well and on the front and back it even has lego wheels much like this lego mclaren that i have here although i think the wheels are a bit no! i love that so much because i used to make lego race cars as a kid i guess and seeing it in person on a roller coaster train at Legoland, very, very epic. And the design looks really good, but so does the comfortability of the trains. They do look like they have sufficient leg room and they look quite nice to sit in. Never thought I'd say that about a roller coaster train, but there you go. We never really got a good image of what those trains look like, so now we have them. A big moment. I was first in the queue as well, that's an even bigger moment. What do you think of these coasters and their trains? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and make sure you subscribe. Bye-bye.